welcome to Bathnet's farmhouse. My name is Jordan and today we're going to be doing a special bonus video on how I make my soap embeds. So in this container I have some low sweat melt and pour that I've melted up in about 15 second bursts in the microwave. Most any soap supplier will carry a type of low sweat melt and pour. And I will be making some shimmery gold gumballs with just some shimmer gold mica. Look how sparkly that is. So we're just going to add our mica to our melt and pour and give it a mix up. I'm not an expert on melt and pour, but I find that when I'm mixing mica in, giving it a spritz with some rubbing alcohol breaks up those bubbles and lets you see how many mica clumps you still have left in there. Okay, we got all that mixed in, now we're going to fill up our little gumball mold. I got this gumball mold from Nurture Soap. They also have a medium and a large size. This is the small 7 8 size gumball. Most soap suppliers also carry these little gumball molds. I know I've seen them at Wholesale Supplies Plus and Brambleberry. So if you want to get yourself one, your regular supplier will probably carry it. We got all those filled up and let's just give it a spritz with some rubbing alcohol. Make sure there's no bubbles in it. And we will let that sit for a little while, usually about 15-20 minutes I let it sit and then I can come in and pop them out. If you're interested in other embeds, just go peruse your local Michaels. I got these at Michaels, little leaf embeds. I also got these at Michael's. I have some plans for the these little lightning bolts, a special soap for my daughter. She really wants me to make a Harry Potter soap. Shh, don't tell her. I also got these at Walmart. You saw these in the romance soap that I made. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it above. Here's just a little bowl of some extra embeds I have. Here's a little gingerbread man that I made for our gingerbread village soap and also in here I have some just little soap dough toadstools that's for another video entirely and some just leftover little gumballs from our orange danish soap so I just keep the little extra ones just in case I need to make something later on so we'll be back in just a few minutes and I'll have these unmolded for you all right, it's been about half an hour and we're back to unmold these. My youngest daughter has joined us again, so you might hear her playing in the background. So I'm just gonna pull on these, kind of loosen them up a bit. Same goes with any kind of silicone mold. Just wanna break that seal a little bit before you try and pop them out. And these are pretty easy to pop out. Melt and pour gets pretty hard fairly quickly. Alright, and there you have it, my little soapy gumballs. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so, so you can see which soap I use these on. And please give us a like down below. Thanks for watching.